Hey everyone, it's Sydney and Richard here. She's Sydney and I'm Richard. Hey, I'm supposed to say I'm Sydney. Um, okay. Yeah, anyways, no, that's <laughs> fine. Uh, yeah, I am Sydney and he is Richard. And uh, we like to do beer reviews for people like you watching there. Yeah. So, uh, on your phone or your tablet or your computer or wherever you are. If you're in a your... bottle shop thinking, oh, what's a good beer rush? Buy yeah. right now. Oh, that'd be quite a compliment if someone was like, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I pulled you guys up. Let uh, us know if that happens. Yeah, please let us know. We want to, <laughs> we want to know people are watching. Yeah. Um, okay. Today, yeah. I'm very excited for this because yeah. it is a brewery that I have had many good um, buzzed occasions with, <laughs> and who has really awesome beer, um, and like the, like in the two beers that I've tried from them, so I'm really, fingers crossed, this is good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is from Avery Brewing. Avery Brewing in Boulder, Colorado. Um, they're, since 1993, they've been making beer in Colorado, which is, if you're not familiar, a very big beer state. So they're a big deal in a big deal area. So I'm super pumped because every, like, I've had maybe two or three of theirs and I loved all of them and they're all really strong and really delicious. Um, so today we have Hog Heaven Imperial IPA, um, hence the red shirt and the red lipstick mm -hmm. to go with the red IPA. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, so can you tell me a little bit about Avery because I love them. But yeah. I don't know anything about them. It was founded by um, a man and his father, so it's kind of a family Aww. operation. Um, they've been growing very, very quickly. So they're right now they're in 33 states and Japan and Sweden. Oh, my. And something I think is really cool, um, if you decide you want to try this beer but you can't find it in the store, they actually give recipes to homebrew on their own website for what? many of their beers, including this one. So you can make it yourself. Oh my god. Yeah, I think that's a really we cool thing. We know what we're doing next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, that's crazy. Awesome. So, recently they're expanding a lot more into barrel-aged, uh, oak-aged things, and so they recently opened a warehouse that's 42,000 square feet that can hold 30,000 oak barrels. So, look out for Avery having a much richer oak aged program. I love oak aged things. Oh my god, I'm so in love with Avery. Um, <laughs> you love oak aged, you love Avery, you're gonna eat this up. I'm gonna eat it up. Can yeah. we just go ahead and open it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's I'm do so it. excited. Do you want to have the honors? I'll do the honors. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so they do bottles and cans. I've seen both for various brands. Um, this is a can, obviously. Please let this be good. Please let this be good. <laughs> You'll be in hog heaven if it's good. It's a beautiful head. I have to say they did a great yeah. job there. Yeah, pretty, pretty amber color as well. Yeah, somewhere between pale and red, kind of an amber, as she said, coppery color. Yeah. All right, what does it smell like? It smells hoppy. Yeah, it just smells hoppy. But, you know, it's like a good dry hop aroma. You know, it doesn't smell... It smells like vegetal, in a sense, you know? Like they just put pure hop cones right yeah in there. it does it does because sometimes he's brought home hop cones before and i've <laughs> smelled them and it's like whoa yeah um, i mean it's like that but toned down but it smells like it's true it smells before. very fresh okay i'm ready cheers okay. cheers cheers mm. so the first thing that really hit my tongue is like this strong malt presence that kind of created like a solid backing for the hops to come in later. Hmm. I feel like, you know, I'm not a beer expert, but this is one of the beers where, like, malty and hop meet. Mm, mm hmm Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I, this definitely has a little bit of a kick aftertaste, definitely that hop mm -hmm. taste, which I'm not a huge hop drinker. Um, however... It does have that little bit of malt in it, so it makes it okay for me. Um, but yeah, and I also am not a big, like, IPA drinker. Like, Richard right. would tell you, I never order IPAs. To me, it's just, like, boring. But, um, <laughs> right. but yeah, this is pretty good. This is really good. I mean, they 
knew what they were doing. This is well executed on every level, I'd say. Totally. It's kind of... The, the popular word now for IPAs is dank. I say this is kind of <sighs> dank. It is kind of dank. I always think dank sounds like a gross word, but... Um... Dang kind of almost sounds like a kind of like musty kind of, I don't know. Yeah, it's almost, slumps like a, it has that, it has like a resinous kind of piney. Yeah. Um, I totally get that. That's a good call. Um, I think it's, um, I like to think of beers, like, is it simple or is it complicated? It's, it's got some complexity in the sense of the hop and the malt, but it's, Simple meaning it's easy to drink. You know, I mean, it, it has the extra hop thing. Like, for me, I always have mm -hmm. to, like, get through the hops. But for the most part, it's pretty pretty good to drink. Yeah. I mean, if you're trying to get into hoppy beers, I think this would be a great way to go. Um, it really meets you halfway. Yeah. A couple weeks back, we did Nikasi. Uh, um, Believer. Double Believer. Red Ale. That was very much a training wheel hop. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this would be a good next level. Sure. Like, this is a good next step. Because yeah. it adds that bit of malt, so you can kind of explore your tongue, and, like, if you like hops, by having this after that. Maybe we should make charts of, like, if you start here, <laughs> this is where you can end yeah, up. Yeah, totally. Um, so this is a good, like, you know, mm -hmm. escalating and hoppy. Um, I definitely like it a lot. Yeah. On a scale of one to five, what would you give this? I would give this a solid four. I mean... I think it's so easy to see so many IPAs and you kind of get burned out, but this is such a good one that I would definitely order this again or pick it up somewhere. Um, it does a really great job of balancing like the fresh hop character, so you get that uh, fresh taste and the aroma and taste of a, you know, really good hops, but also that bitterness that's balanced with maltiness. It's just feels really well proportioned. Hmm. Yeah, I think... So, Avery, I love you guys. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of IPAs, so I'm going to give it, like, a 3.5. That is not a reflection of this, like, this beer specifically mm -hmm. or the brewery. It's just a reflection of my taste buds and, like, not really loving IPAs. I'm not into super hoppy, but I appreciate your, your go at this hog heaven because it has that little bit of malt and it makes it more palatable for me um sure. i do think this is a good like next level intro to hops and i would totally recommend this to someone that's like i'm trying to figure out hops what should i do like you know i would right. totally recommend that and i've been so impressed by every beer that i've had by avery and i want to get out to Colorado so badly. <laughs> I need him to take me on a road trip. I really want to go and um, we'll go for sure. Go and taste all of your things because I've loved all of them. Um, we well, yeah. While we're waiting, if you want to send us a stout or something, we wouldn't say no. Avery, we'd love that. <laughs> um, but no, um, Richard and I love going to this international beer fest each summer in Seattle. And that was when I first had Avery. And now every time I like go to any sort of beer festival, I'm like, where's Avery? I need to yeah. find Avery. Like, it, he'll tell you. I, I scouted out. Oh, yeah. So, it's this... It's probably the only non-local brewery that she knows the name of. <laughs> this is the only brewery I would say is my favorite, like, brewery. Like, I'm yeah. so into it. Um, so in terms of IPA, like, I'm just not an IPA person. I give it a three and a half. That means, like, above average, solid, good beer. Um, you guys did a good job. Yeah. And I cannot wait to try more Avery things. Absolutely. So, so uh, yeah, if you want to find us on Instagram, like us and follow us there. Uh, like and subscribe to our videos. Comment. Let us know how awesome we're doing. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. And until next pour. Until next pour. <laughs>